Look at that cheese pull. Yum. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to G Rod Grills. My name is Gerardo, and this is my channel. If you're into backyard barbecue on a variety of different smokers, like the Bradley P10 smoker you see here right beside me, then please consider subscribing because that's exactly what this channel is all about. Today I'm going to be doing this awesome buffalo chicken cheese dip smoked in the Bradley P10 smoker right here. This dip is going to have a pile of chicken, it's got some awesome kick from the buffalo sauce, and it's super cheesy, ooey gooey delicious. Are you ready to get going? Let's go! All right, so to start this dip off, we're gonna start off with my baking some smoked cream cheese. Uh, I've got a full video on how to do this on my channel, so go ahead and hit the link at the top, uh, top right corner here if you wanna check that out. We're gonna be using today uh, Whiskey Bent's Blazing Bird, and this is a good kind of chicken-ish pork rub, and uh, Tailgate's Party Rub, which is a good salt pepper um, mix. So let's, uh, but first off, we're gonna score it. Now this rub is actually going to help a couple things. One, it's gonna season the cream cheese, but two, it's gonna give us some of those flavors in the dip when we're finished off here. So this is not gonna go into the smoker. Uh, we're gonna put it in there, give it some smoke, and then once we're done doing that, I'll show you the next few steps on how to do our dip. All right, so we're about 20 minutes away from that cream cheese being ready to go. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients to go into this dip so that we can keep this thing rolling. Um, first thing what I'm gonna do is I've got about a cup and a half of Frank's uh, hot sauce in here. This is just a regular stuff. I'm gonna put it into a, uh, a pan here that's over medium heat. Next, I've got about a cup and a half ish of uh, shredded chicken here. Now this was just a rotisserie chicken that I had from leftover dinner. Um, you can buy this at any grocery store. You, if you have your own chicken that you've made and you have some leftovers, just shred it up. I like to just kind of cup a couple forks and shred it. You can cube it, you can slice it, however you want to do it. You just want it small enough so that when you put it in or you're getting it into a, like a chip, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to stay on there and not going to fall over. So put that in there and then just kind of give her a mix into that hot sauce. There you are there. Next, uh, we're gonna melt some cheese into this. So in here, I've got about a cup and a half of uh, pizza mozzarella and about a cup and a half of shredded marble cheese that I've had, that I had in the fridge. So you can use uh, regular cheddar or smoked gouda, whatever cheese you really like that melts, you wanna use that. I'm gonna use most of this, but I'm gonna save some for the topping at the very end. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Yeah, that's probably good. I'm gonna save this for the very end. So I've maybe used about, uh, about a cup and a quarter of, uh, uh, of cheese. Now this is all gonna melt down, but as we kind of do this, we're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients in here. Uh, I've got some regular sour cream here. Uh, just regular full fat sour cream. We need about a cup's worth of sour cream. So I'm gonna use a mixture of sour cream and I've also got hell of a good dip, which is just kind of like a, like a French onion dip as well that you can buy. You can generally find these at any grocery store as well. So you can change the amount that you put in here for sour cream. The more you use, the creamier this is going to get. We're gonna be adding the cream cheese to this as well. And the cream cheese kind of ten tends to uh, make it a little bit thicker, and this is gonna thin it out. Up here is, before we gonna just let this melt down, is I'm going to add a packet of ranch. This is just dry ranch. If you wanted, you could substitute the sour cream in this ranch with just regular ranch dressing. If you have that at home, just use about a cup's worth of it. This is gonna kinda of mix that together, and it's gonna make ranch dressing in here, so. Full packet in there. And now give her just a mix and you're gonna keep stirring until it's nice and melted down. You can see it's already starting to really melt down those cheeses. And we're just gonna keep giving this a stir. Uh, like I said, that cream cheese is gonna be ready to go right away here. I'm gonna bring that in here. We're gonna melt that into this pot as well. And that's gonna give us our full dip. And I'll show you how we, what we're gonna do with it next. All right, here we go. So our cream cheese is done. Uh, it looks awesome. See that smoke kind of penetrating all the way down. We've got 
I can smell it, it smells fantastic. Um, a beautiful smoke color all the way around and that seasoning nicely set on it, so perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump this right in here. This is still pretty warm, so it should melt down pretty quickly into this uh, pot. Just give her a mix. And you wanna keep stirring this, keep it over medium heat, keep stirring it until that cream cheese is fully incorporated into this dip and you have none of these kind of white lumps, big chunks of lumps uh, kicking around. Once you've got that, you'll move on to the next step, which I'll show you shortly. All right, here we go. So now that we've got it all smoothed out, you can see here the lumps that you see in there is all the chicken that's in the dip. The cream cheese is all melted through in there. We're gonna put it into a greased up uh, cast iron pan here and we're just gonna dump it in there very carefully to not kind of splash anywhere. All right, and there you are. So at this point, this is pretty much finished, but we want a little bit more smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna give it a little dusting of both rubs again over top. And I've set the smoker back up to 320 degrees and I'm gonna be running some apple wood and a little bit of hickory in there as well. We're gonna pop this in there for the next half hour. And once that's done, we're ready to eat. I'll show you uh, when we put it into the smoker here shortly. All right, here we go. Here's our dip. We put it back into the smoker. The smoker's running at 320 degrees and I'm using um, some apple and some hickory wood in there. We're only gonna give this about, uh, about half an hour worth of smoke here. So half an hour, 40 minutes, the two biscuits is what I've put in there. And that's what's gonna give us a little bit of extra smoky flavor. It looks delicious, it smells fantastic, and I can't wait to try that out. All right, well, here we go. It's been about half an hour. Smoke is all kind of cleared out of here. You can see it nice and bubbly. You can hear it. We're gonna give that a little bit of a mix, bring it inside. We're gonna to top it with that cheese, throw it under the broiler for a little bit, and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, here we go. So I put some of that extra cheese that we saved just on top. We just got it under the broiler right now. It's only gonna be there for a few seconds here, maybe a minute or so. You can see the cheese already starting to kind of bubble. And uh, once it starts to brown, we're gonna take it out and then it's gonna be good to go. Okay, here we go. Here's our dip. Piping hot. Ah, piping hot. Really hurts a lot. It smells amazing. I can't wait to try this. I can smell it all. I can smell the smoke. I can smell the cheese. I can smell that buffalo sauce. Mm, even that chicken smells so, so good. So let's go ahead and uh, let's have a taste. Very key. Let it cool down for a few minutes. This is like lava. It's like cheese lava. And if you eat it straight out of the smoker or out of the oven, you're going to burn every taste bud off and you're not gonna be able to taste anything. With that said, let's give it a taste. Look at that cheese pull. Yum. Let's go. Out of bounds delicious. Everything about it. Every little bite has so much chicken in it. You can taste it all, the different texture of the chicken in there. There's a lot of buffalo flavor in there, the buffalo sauce flavor. So if you like it a little less spicy, maybe add a little less uh, buffalo sauce. It's about a, I added about a cup and a quarter, a cup and a half. Maybe use about a cup's worth or maybe a little bit less than that. But to me, this is perfect. It's not overly hot. It's not super spicy. It's creamy. It's delicious. That smoky flavor from the uh, smoked cream cheese really adds a nice little touch to it all too. It's so good. Plus we added that extra layer of smoke on top. Mm. Super Bowl, Stanley Cup playoffs, NBA Finals, PGA Tour Finals, everything. I don't know, WWE, Royal Rumble, make this dip. It is going to be absolutely fantastic. Everyone's gonna love it. I don't know what else to tell you about it. Super simple to make. Start off with that smoked cream cheese, which is like three steps and it's the easiest thing to make and it's also so delicious on its own. You melt a bunch of cheese, add some uh, ranch dip, Sour cream, I'm telling you, this is where it's at. That last little bit of cheese that we put on top under the broiler, crisps up nicely, browns nicely, adds a really different type of texture to it. That's why I love that mozzarella cheese, that pizza mozzarella cheese, because it gets so melty like you get on pizza. It's so good. I promise you, whatever your next event is, whether it's Easter, make it for Easter. Make it for the family. It's so good. You're not going to regret it. I guarantee it. 
Well, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see some more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content. Like you saw at the beginning of the video, there is a special offer available to you. If you'd like to purchase any one of the Bradley products you saw in my video today, whether it's the smoker, the racks, or anything else that Bradley offers on their website, head on over to bradley.com and use code GROD at checkout to save yourself a little bit of cash. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a whole bunch more of this. You have yourself an awesome day. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next GROD Grills.